WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We're the Dow Industrials. Finish up 51. NASDAQ up 184. S&P's up 27. Gold. Gold contract down $17. Trading at 1711. Has light volume, but guess what, man? Can't hold price. There's no buyers and uh, there's no sellers, but it's losing price each and every day. Silver. Silver down at 14 cents, eighteen dollars fifty-seven cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down two bucks, one hundred and two dollars twenty-six cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A ten-year note down six ticks, trading one seventeen twenty-five. The thirty-year is up two at one thirty-eight twenty. And king dollar. King dollar is up three hundred eighty-five ticks, trading one oh seven oh sixty-seven. The euro is one oh one. The yen is at one thirty-eight. And the British pound is at 119 to 1 US dollar. We get over and we take a look at the S&Ps, folks. Bottom line, you got over the swing point. The SPY does have light of volume, but the NDX 100, I expect, is going to just keep driving this thing higher. So what we have is this. The, the SPY took out the swing today. The swing we're talking about is the price point of 393.16. You're at 394.810. That's saying next stop up here. 417. What's going to get intriguing? Well, let's, let's go to the Qs first. Take a look at the Qs. The Qs, to me, straight out, want to get up into those the higher levels. So it's going to be pretty wild watching this thing shake out. The Qs had 61 million shares. That blew away 54. Next swing is 314, which you could make real easy by Friday. That's how this thing is shaking out. Now, that being said, what I suspect we very well might have and just a heads up before the market opens tomorrow is that you have the ECB coming out with a um, coming out with an interest rate structure, meaning that they're going to go up on rates. Now, the ECB, this is what's so wild about the ECB, is that this, the ECB could go up on rates, you know, a quarter point from a, a year and would still would just, just about get it into a flat rate, not a negative rate. That being said, the way that the dollar is set up, it's almost looking to me like this dollar can bounce higher once again and the euro go lower. And if that's what we get at the beginning when that announcement gets made, stay tuned because what would end up happening is that you get pre market, you get the market pulled back quick. And if that's pulling back quick, the way this market's still set up, it still wants higher price. So pay attention to that. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Yeah, look at him, folks. Sharpening.